UFC Fight Night, Johnny Walker versus Jamal Hill. What am I going to do tonight? Tonight, I'm going to do something real, real simple. I'm going to place one bet. One bet only. And that's on the main event. And I'm going to tell you the bet that I'm going to place. It's going to shock a lot of you. I'm going to put it on Johnny Walker. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to put it on Johnny Walker. He's got a lot more experience, number one. Number two. The dude, over the past year, has been putting himself in an elite camp doing elite training with one of the best MMA coaches in the world. Okay? His fight against Diago Santos, everybody kind of downed that fight like he was afraid of Diago and this and that. And when I seen that performance from him, it told me one thing. He's interested in changing his fighting style to become an elite fighter. Somebody that doesn't take the amount of risk that he was taking. Somebody that's more calculated. And it almost paid off. It almost paid off. But that style takes a moment to tweak. It, it takes a couple fights to tweak that style. And to start point fighting I'm here to tell you that Johnny Walker I believe that he's going to be an elite fighter I do believe that I've been watching him for quite a while that's not to say that Jamal Hill is not going to be an elite fighter and that he's not going to beat him tonight he may very well get the better of him I don't know um, Hill's a great fighter he's got He's got some hands on him. But I think you're going to see a very different Johnny Walker tonight than you're used to seeing. A guy that just goes in there and recklessly throws and bangs. I don't think that's what you're going to see. And if he has to take Hill down, if he gets in trouble, I think you might see that. I think you might see that out of him tonight. Am I saying this that he's going to be able to point fight and go to and go to a decision with with Jamal Hill. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that I think he's going to be more calculated. I think he's going to be a smarter fighter than what you've seen in the past. And because because of what he's doing, because he's went to this camp, because he's settled down, and because he's making the right decisions to become an elite fighter. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my money on him. And Matt Lewis. If I do it's just one unit. I'm gonna put my money on him tonight. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my money on Johnny Walker to win straight up. I don't know how he does it. Maybe he does it by points. Maybe he knocks him out. I don't know. But I've been following him and I'm impressed by I'm impressed by his growth. And you know something else? Let me say this. I'm also impressed with Jamal Hill's growth. I really am. And I like Jamal Hill. I do. I do. Um, I didn't at first. I didn't. He kind of reminded me of like a street thug type dude. And I didn't. I didn't really care for it. Care for him too much. But after he lost that match with that Paul dude. You know, that that jujitsu expert where he locked him up and dislocated his arm and elbowed his freaking head to death. Something happened after that fight, man, where I heard that him and that dude went out for drinks afterwards and talked. I don't know if that dude sat down and talked with him and said, hey, look, man, you know, 
you got to change the way you approach this or, or this or that. But ever since then, man, he's been very professional. And I've seen a lot of interpersonal growth with him. And I'm very impressed with him, too. But the experience and the dedication and commitment that I've seen out of Johnny Walker in the past year the pedigree that he has, the fights that he's had, the guy